Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Maarten and in this video I will show you how to calculate a completion date for your project. Um, Excel can calculate with dates. So if you uh, have a number of tasks that need to be completed and need to be completed one after another, uh, you can calculate uh, uh, what the end date will be. Let's say we have, we have a, a project of five steps. Let's first make a table. Step one, two, three, four, five. Let's say this is step number, step name. Let's say we're building a house. That's the uh, building permission we need to get. We need to build the foundation. We need to build the walls. We need to build the roof. And let's say we need to do electricity and plumbing. Let's just pretend you can build a house in five steps for now. Um, we have a start date. Let's make it convenient. Let's say we get our building permission in uh, the 1st of January. And we need to have a duration in days. Let's add that as well. this wide enough and an end date now let's say uh, the building permission takes one day now you can calculate for each task you can calculate the end date by adding the duration to the start date like this and as you can see if it takes one day and you start at the 1st of January then you're finished the end date is the 2nd of January now let's make this pretty and make it bold. Right. Um, and let's just say for simplicity that the start date for each of the next step is the end date of the previous one. So this is that one. And let's say, now we can just fill this out. Let's just say the foundation takes... Sorry about that, guys. Somehow this keeps coming up. I have to learn how to shut this off. Um, the duration is 30 days for this one. The walls, it takes 14 days. The roof, it takes... Well, the roof is, roofs are complicated, right? So let's take 20 days for that. And electricity and plumbing is... Now, we can just copy this formula downwards. Because it's, we use the cell references, so we can just point the uh, mouse pointer in the bottom corner, wait for the plus sign to appear, click it with the left mouse button and drag it down. Now this is of course, the ref refers to D6, which is still empty, so but we're gonna fix that. Because what we did here, we refer to the, this, the end date of the previous task, is also something we can copy. All right. Now all we need to do is make the cells a bit wider. And there you have it. Um, the foundation we can start on the 2nd of February. This takes 30 days. So on the 1st of, sorry, on the 2nd of January, the foundation can start. And the foundation takes 30 days. So on the 1st of February, it's done. The walls can start on the 1st of February and take for, for 14 days. That's until the 15th of February. Roof starts then um, and the nice thing is because Excel can calculate with days, it takes into account the length of February, which is of course shorter than the other months. And on the 7th of March, the roof is done. And the electricity and plumbing can start on the 7th of March. And our, after 20 days on electricity and plumbing, our project, our house, is finished on the 27th of March. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to receive email updates when I post a new video and get tips and tricks on how to learn Excel in a smarter way, uh, click on the button in the bottom right corner. This will take you to Work Smarter, Work Smarter, Work Smarter TV, my website, where you can subscribe to my mailing list. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.